I just thought I'd share this video with you because some people have problems deciding whether to buy Photoshop CC or the main Photoshop program, a Photoshop Elements or Lightroom. When people come on the courses, I find that most people are heading towards Photoshop. That's the main program. And I end up talking them out of it, to be honest with you. I haven't used Photoshop professionally for a very long time. I use Lightroom and I use Photoshop Elements. There's many different reasons, but I'm just going to highlight a few of them today. Obviously, I'm a wedding photographer, and so Lightroom is very useful when you're coming back with a thousand images, and you've got to edit them quickly. Um, I can, I've can i got a full edit a wedding in probably about five hours now, and output it onto USB in the afternoon. So that's my main reason for using Lightroom, is for weddings. And it's also very useful for um, people that are going traveling or landscape photography. When you're coming back with a number of images, you know, more than say 20 or 30, then Lightroom is very good for organizing. So I use Lightroom for the black and white conversions. Um, I went out the other day, and if you've seen the 17 to 40 mil um, Canon L lens review, I went out and into the landscape and just tried to come back with some black and white images. And I, I tried to convert them in Lightroom and then I tried Elements. And to be honest with you, Lightroom has got a brilliant black and, work, black and white module. You can go over to the left. It's doing a very good job anyway. So don't get buying all these plugins and different things. Um, it's, it's, it's fine as it is. Black and white is a tonal Learning about contrast is the main thing with black and white. So, so Lightroom allows me to do one color image and a black and white image, and I can synchronize that across a whole wedding. That's a massive thing because my product, really, the thing I sell, I don't sell albums. I literally sell myself as a photographer, and I do a black and white conversion of every image at the wedding. And that's my main reason for using Lightroom is for weddings. I'm just going to dip across to um, Elements. So let's see if we can find Elements. Got it open here. That's Organizer. I'll just dip up. Yeah, let's have a quick look at Organizer because if you're into using Premiere as well, which you know the Elements version. I'm not talking the expensive one. Then the Organizer is really useful here as well because you can. As you can see, I've got my YouTube videos in here and you're categorizing them and you're pulling all your information together, making different folders and pulling it together with Photoshop elements as well. So the organizer element comes when you buy um, Photoshop elements or Premiere elements. And I suggest you buy the two of them together. I'll put a link in the description below and a, some text um, and you can go straight to Amazon and buy that. Um, I will get a tiny weenie commission of 1% um, if you're wondering why I put these links in I'm quite honest um, it helps the channel keep going so I might get a pound for every hundred pounds so please use the links any links I put in the description it really helps and um, lets me have the odd day off and do these do these videos for you but getting back to this the organizer section is really useful and you don't actually get that when you're with Photoshop but when you buy elements and Premiere Elements together, you get this organizer in between the programs. And you can literally choose which editor to open. So I'll open the photo editor. And I'll be working on just a few things just to show you in Elements. So in my opinion, and please comment below, because I know we're going to get a lot of Photoshop users that they're going to they're, they, please comment below and just tell us everything that's better about Photoshop rather than buying a 70 pound elements. But the things I love about elements for, for a beginner, you've got the photo bin, which is like a film strip. If you want to open an image, as you open the image, it comes up to here. And all I did with this image is I opened up the background image and thought, why don't I just drag the images on there and just play around with them a bit? And it's quite creative because you can do layouts. You can do book layouts, um, website layouts, text. So it's a very good little graphic design package. So I'll just change the background there. 
So Elements is Photoshop. Uh, I know most people don't realize that. They make it look quite amateurish in a way because you've got the quick and you've got the guided and then you've got the expert. But the bottom line is they're not going to produce one package, which is Photoshop, and then go back to the drawing board. Photoshop Elements is elements of Photoshop. And I always say it's the elements of Photoshop that 95% of photographers need. A lot of the other stuff that's in Photoshop is really for graphic designers advanced techniques and most photographers don't dip into that anyway they're looking really to maybe crop their image darken an area lighten an area convert it to black and white and just you know do basic corrections you've got a full layers tab on the right so you've got all the layers exactly the same as Photoshop as far as I can tell again comment below and tell us what you've got in Photoshop main program I mean I don't really use effects um, or anything like this you've got lots of stuff in there that you might think why on earth would I use it you don't have to use any of these things but the basic tools you've got you've got a lasso tool which is used a lot so I might want to just select an area I'll just make it exaggerated I would obviously never do this um, but say you wanted to look at that cloud and you wanted to feather it just so that we don't get a harsh line let's feather it right up and you can just change the lighting on it very simple tools this is what's so good about elements so I just want to brighten that part I'll exaggerate it so you can see we can bring some of that cloud out you might want to add a bit of contrast and then click off it done so the lasso tool you can literally turn lights on and off around images and you can relight them and this is a technique I've been using for a long time and when you see this done in Photoshop tutorials they tend to make it look very complicated but really what you're doing it's turning lights on and on, on and on, not on and on, on and off. So <laughs> lightening and darkening images, layering up. So you've got layers, you've got the lasso tool, thinking of the basics here. You've got the crop tool, so if you suddenly want to crop the image, you can crop it. You can turn the image, so you can level it up. What else would I use? So I would use some text as, you know, I've got a website, so I might want to put some text on there. I'll do it in red, but I wouldn't normally do this. So just put in land. So you've got a text tool, so you can do whatever you like with that. It goes on and on. There's too much in elements. I mean, I literally... I, I use it, I've got a small web design business, I've got obviously a photography business and a, a, you know I do a lot of weddings and elements, I, I never really think I need Photoshop and so I, I run Photoshop at the same time as elements for quite a while and in the end I just jump straight across onto elements and I remember when it was, I actually met somebody at the photography show in uh, Birmingham and he was running a full studio and suddenly pops up on the screen and it's elements and he was doing a talk and I thought if he can use it and he's, he's, he's got a full you know brilliant photography and he was he was he was managed to use elements and I looked at the price of it and it was 70 pounds and I was paying something like five or six hundred pounds for Photoshop and I literally switched overnight and I've been fine ever since so I use them together I use elements I've started using the organizer with Premiere because I've started doing these YouTube videos. So if you're thinking, you know, there's a few more bits and pieces coming into the videos, um, it's because I've actually started using Premiere. And, you know, this organizer is brilliant for me. I can do a little tutorial. Um, I can do the B-roll. I can put it all into the videos. I can use Elements graphics. So they tie together really well. And... I know Photoshop ties too well with Premiere Pro, but I think the last time I looked, you'd probably spend £30 a month to have Premiere Pro, Lightroom CC, and Photoshop CC. 
And so it's just, it's not an, it's not economical. I, I know maybe one day we're all going to have to go over to monthly payments, but, but for now, I don't want to be paying monthly for software. Um, so take a look in the description or download the trials first. Um, take a look at elements, take a look at Lightroom and see if you can get away with not using main Photoshop. I think you'll find you can. If I can do it for, as I say, three businesses, weddings, um, small web design business, and you know, photography training, any graphic design I need, everything is literally done for my websites, everything I need to do with these two packages. So take a look. Most people are getting, this is Lightroom 5 again, by the way. I'm not using the latest Lightroom. Lightroom 5 was absolutely fine. So try that and see how you get on. You can download the trials, put them together, and I would be surprised if you can do everything you need to do. You don't need to buy Photoshop. I hope that helps. I know I haven't gone into the packages. There are other videos. If you need one-to-one -one tuition or anything like that, um, please get in touch. Obviously, subscribe if you can by clicking above and hit the bell. And if you hit the bell symbol, every time I put a video up, it will just send you a, a, an email and you'll know that another video has gone up but i'll put some links below as i say so you can you can go to other videos and you can have a look at my site and just try it out don't necessarily it's not necessary to spend hundreds of pounds on software you just need the right software for what you're doing and comment below thanks a lot